<laughs> I can imagine. So at a little bit of a sad uh, point of your life, I would imagine you, you, at some, at some stage, you obviously sort of came off the drugs and then unintentionally you kind of replaced the drugs with a bit of a, an abusive relationship. Um, and your partner at the time was physically abusive. Um, that must've been a really tough and traumatic time. Yeah, it was a terrible time. It's not something that you, you don't go into a relationship thinking that you'll be harmed. Mm. You know, and it was my first relationship uh, with a woman. And so I think there was also that much more weight on it, that much more expansiveness on it, that much more everything. You know, it's kind of like I, I found something I, I really wanted to ex experience maybe experiment with and experience. And yeah, you never walk into one of those situations thinking that you're going to walk out of it a very different person. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I did in many ways, I did replace the pain of whatever pain I was dealing with when I was you know, wildly into drugs with an abusive relationship that I didn't get out of the first, second or third time that any of the um, acts of, you know, violence happen yeah it's so, super you know, gotta, yeah. gotta live with that mm. yeah it's i think it's so tough like um you know you you see people that are that are in these sort of relationships and you're like what are you doing just get out but it's not it's never it's never like that it's not easy like that at all because you you're terrified basically and um you if you try get out it's going to be even kind of worse um yeah. So yeah, you also mentioned that like you felt like a fair bit of shame that like some, you know, somebody was hitting you like just very, very tough times. That's for sure. Yeah. It's an, it's just an emotional, mental, you know, F you up here. Mm. Yeah. That's going on. But I think for me, you know, I didn't to be, to be really clear, I stayed because I thought I could fix her. Mm -hmm. I thought that I had something that would be a special blanket for her that would help her out of her own pain. And then eventually I stayed because I was afraid to leave because you know, she was just not, not, not well. Yeah. Uh, and then I left. And then one yeah. day I left. Wow. I, I guess as well, though, there's a, there's a point where, you know, the, the abusive side of a relationship is only a percentage and there's a lot of other good in the relationship. And, and I guess it's easy when you love someone that, like you say, you can either fix or you can also be like, well, you know what? It's, there's so much good in the relationship too. I mean, I would imagine. And it's, no. it's <laughs> not that one, <laughs> not that one. Early on. No, we oh, passed it. Wow. We passed it early on. Um, yeah, it was, it was also, you know, I, so we've, we've talked about now a few things that have made me who I am. Um, dyslexia, being athletic, uh, experimenting with drugs and kind of, you know, wanting to break on through to the other side in many ways, uh, the death of friends and being in an abusive relationship. And every single thing that I just mentioned to you has allowed me to relate and be with people as they are every single thing. Mm. And so would I take away the pain that I felt? Yeah, sure. I don't I didn't need, we need to feel all of that pain. Mm. However, mm. I wouldn't be sitting here had I not gone there. And I, I actually wouldn't be me. I don't, I think I would be a more selfish version of me. I think I would be mm. a more, I don't, I would not be, you know, I just wouldn't have the same heart, I don't think. Yeah. yeah I you really have to invest in your people if you want a successful business it, it seems so obvious but businesses don't do it yeah it seems so obvious doesn't it yeah i think that Maybe. there are certain businesses that are are run for for bottom top line growth and that's really it and there's certain businesses that just exist to just be fearful <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then there are certain businesses that want to change the world and those are the businesses and those are the leaders I want to be with. Mm -hmm. We are in, we're in a market, we're a marketing advertising creative agency. I mean, 
call it what you want. You know, we're a digital agency for the now. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But the fact that we are obsessed with how we treat human beings is what is going to make us win. Because if you come from that place, and think about the creativity that can spring forward that way. You know, you're not worried about your job. You're not worried about your job. What you want to do is you want to have the flexibility and the runway to create the most, you know, excellent, gorgeous, elegant, funny, whatever it is, piece of art, if you will, video that is going to touch lives. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's amazing as well for the back of what you both been saying there is that in, in doing what you're doing and, and creating this human environment, this caring, you know, uh, loving environment, you're also being watched by so many people and, you know, the super successful company has that as its core. Other people are going to be like, you know, we, sh you know, it's a great example in other words. And, and I think that's also really cool. It's not just, it's, it rubs off, let's say on other companies seeing that, but this is now actually people, this is the way forward. And this is how we create good long-term healthy companies. And I think, you know, that's, that's definitely something that we super, you know, inspired to see. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the wave, you know, we're on the wave. Mm. It does take quite a while for waves to build, as my South African friends know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a surfer, you've got to look way in the back to see where the swell's coming from, but eventually yeah. it will come. Mm. And this revolution that's happening here, where we're putting human beings back into the workplace and bringing humanity back and tenderness back and giving a you know what about the people who are actually creating what it is you sell, mm. that revolution is happening. And it's just gonna take a while. And so, you know, play the long game. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. We'll get there because everything else will I do I truly believe that the way millennials are going and the way Gen Z is going and the generations that are gonna come are not gonna stand for this other kind of antiquated you know, top line, bottom line, roar. They, they want to work with purpose and passion and they want to be respected as human beings, not as cogs in the wheel. You know, they want to be seen as having heartbeats. That's, that's my, that's my POV. You know, that's, it's one woman's opinion. Yeah. Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy cape, fold mountain range. Gotta be quick, so.